right? Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak, Kudash, double R's to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations, much love and respect to you, Akim, out there pushing this word out in truth and sincerity. And uh, this lesson is going to be entitled, You Don't Want to Be Called a Grapist, But What Did They Call Yahweh Shai? Okay, because <clears throat> no one has had more accusations, false accusations thrown on them. No more, no more <clears throat> um, of an innocent man, should I say, because Yahweh Shai was completely innocent. While he was getting called all these different things, he was completely innocent. He didn't sin at all. You see, us, we sin. Okay, although there are false accusations they're throwing at us, we're still not as innocent or anywhere close to as innocent as Yahweh Shai was. All right, so Yahweh Shai had to go through these false accusations of being called the devil, being called a witch, being called a um, someone who who was who was um, trying to commit uh, what do you call that uh, vandalism. You know, in destroying the temple, okay? He was being accused of all these different things. And it said while he was being accused, you know, while they reviled, he reviled, he didn't revile back. Okay, when you know when they when they um, when they threatened him, they didn't, he didn't threaten back. Okay. He just took his 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 cross as a lamb. You know what I'm saying? And you have men that, when these accusations come about, you know, knowing what, 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 what you're a part of, or you're supposed to know what you're a part of, that's part of count, counting the cost, is knowing what you're a part of and knowing what comes with it, okay? They start to um, get soft. They get weak, you know? And the scriptures say when you, if your heart faint in the time of adversity, <clears throat> your strength is weak, you know? And these, these guys, a lot of these guys, their strength is weak And they're putting on a front, man You know what I'm saying? The guys putting in their resignations And saying, oh, I don't want to, uh, don't hurt me no more And all this stuff, I'm uh, hoping most I don't hurt me no more It's like, yo, bro, the scripture says, remember yourselves, men Look at everything Job went through, man Look at everything Job went through, man He lost his whole family you know, his wife is uh he got uh, illnesses, he was tormented by dreams. <clears throat> and with all that, he kept his integrity, man. And the Lord still cursed him out for even <laughs> complaining too much, man. Alright. So these are examples, man. But furthermore, the Lord is not gonna put on you more than you can bear, man. You know. So when people fall out like that and they say, yeah, how they just quit, it's because they're just, they're just, um, you know, they're be, you're being weak. They're being weak, man. Okay? Okay? Because like I said, man, you ain't going through what Yahweh Shai went through. You're not going through what Yahweh Shai went through. Yahweh Shai, our Lord, went through a lot worse. <clears throat> and, the, and the scriptures say, the servant is not greater than his master, man. If, if they called the, the master of the house uh, Beelzebub, you know how much more his uh, his servants, man. You know what I'm saying? So he, you know, he made that statement at the end of the video. I didn't, I didn't, I couldn't find the full video. I wanted to see the full video, but I, I couldn't find the full video. The brother from Hawaii, or the elder from Hawaii, he um. He was playing the last, he played the last part of the video where he said, um, yeah, I'm, I'm leaving GMS and hopefully the most high don't hurt me no more. And so, and I, had, I was laughing because it sounded like the, the, big, the Biggie Smalls um, song, you know, where he kicking the door, waving the 4 4 Papa, Papa, don't hurt me no more, or something like that. I don't hit me no more. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. It's like, yo, the apostles have never hit what is um, 
what this walk is about, man. They always <clears throat> told us this walk was about suffering and and these things were gonna happen, these false accusations. And we saw them get falsely accused. Okay, so this is this is part of the walk, man. Alright? You had you had these Christians come up to us and they were saying that we were violent and this and that, and we never committed no act of violence. Right? All we do is go out there and preach the word, man. So he never witnessed us commit any acts of violence, heard of us committing any acts of violence, has any proof of us committing any acts of violence. But he said we're violent. You know, but I, but that's the thing. I understand that that is part of this walk, man. So I'm not gonna act like, yo, that's some some strange thing. No, it's not a strange thing. All right, it's part of the, uh, the job description. So the, the, the reason why you come in and then these things happen and then you fall out is because you really didn't count the cost, man. You really didn't count the cost, man. And like I said, the apostles have always never hid what this walk, this thing was about. I can understand if you were part of IUIC or ISUPK and, and you had no clue about these things because their congregation is not prepared for those things. Their congregation is more in the, um, the spirit of, um, of family day, man. No, yeah, they're more in the spirit of that, you know, and getting a wife and you know being a family man. This is the spirit that they come in, or the party spirit, or the rapper spirit. They're not in the spirit of preparing the congregation for a great tribulation. But the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, I can actually, truly, honestly say, they have definitely prepared the flock beforehand, and they never hid what this walk was about. So you came into this thing, you crept in this thing unawares. You crept in this unawares, man. You came into this thing either for the wrong reason or just not counting the cost, man. And I think the, the, that individual, he just didn't count the cost, man. You know? And, and like I said, man, they call Yahweh Shai all manner of, of things, man. He said he was trying to make himself equal with the most high and all man all things that back then was very very heavy accusations man you know pretty much all those things back then in the eyes of the israelites were, were worthy of, of, of death you know and he had to just take that on the chin man so guess what we're gonna have to take it on the chin you know, we can't, um, you no, know, we can tell her, you know, we, we didn't do that. You have no proof on that. But, hey, the demonization campaign against us, you know, is going to be strong. It's going to be strong. We have more more that, that are created than, than shall be saved. So you have more wicked people in the earth than righteous people. Okay? So the the the, the, um, the the darkness that's in those people, man, is gonna be shown more and more. The closer we get to the end, that darkness is is coming out, man. And we have to stand firm. We have to stand strong in the face of these of this adversity, man. Knowing that there's a victory at the end. It's not just adversity and that's it. There's a victory. There's a reward for standing strong for Yahweh Shai, man. He's walk. First of all, he's watching us, man. He's examining us, man. And he said, "Strive until strive for the truth until death, and I shall fight for thee, man." And we and that's it. So if he's gonna fight for us, how can we lose, man? As long as our mindset is to to do this thing unto death that's the mindset when you come into this thing when i started to go on the, on, on, on the highways and the byways my mindset was okay this is it this there's no turning back this is unto death this is unto death man 
And if you come to, if you haven't come to the truth with that mindset, man, if you didn't come to this thing with that mindset, you have to examine. You have to examine yourself and really say, yo, am I in this thing unto death? Then you better get into that mindset state, man. Because that's the only way to, to, to withstand what's getting ready to come. And the Lord said, like I said, he said those that that um that, that strive for the truth until death, I will fight for thee, man. Alright? You have to believe that, man. You have to believe that. You know? These people dropping out, man. It's, it's, it's like, wow. It's like, wow. But yo, these things are written, man. These things are written, man. That there's going to be a lot of people that's just going to fall out. You know? And, 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 and not endure sound doctrine in the latter days, man. You know? But he people to themselves... Uh, teachers having itching ears, which when you look at that in the NLT, it says they they're looking to hear, they're looking for teachers that will tell them what their what their itching ears want to hear. Okay, and what what are the things that their itching ears want to hear? They want to hear the smooth things, you know, as the scriptures say. They don't want to hear about the the the, the, the um the bitter of this truth. They want to hear the smooth, the sweet of this truth, which. You have a lot of Israelite groups that they can join for that. But one thing I'll say is that those Israelite groups don't have the Holy Spirit. Okay? Those Israelite groups, the Lord is not dealing with them on that level. And when that and when, when these things come upon you, man, it's gonna it's gonna well when these things come upon their congregation, it's gonna hit their congregation by surprise, man. The accusation. You see, you see what happened with Nate. He's like, oh, I don't like being falsely accused. Some along those those lines, right? But but this guy's the main. His camp is one of the main camps who was pushing that. The fact that the the the, um, the false information that Great Millstone is rapist and this and that and PDF files and all these different things. But he's like, I don't like being falsely accused. But you're gonna be falsely accused. I'm gonna say that straight. And, and Nathaniel, the bishop, all of them guys in IUIC. Uh, ISUPK, all these dudes, all these Israelite groups, they're going to be falsely accused. They're going to be slandered. Okay? Because Esau is, is, is uh, building a case. Okay? And they're going to pull up all them, all that, all the dirty laundry that you got. You're trying to put Great Millstone's dirty laundry on display. Well, all your dirty laundry is about to be on display for the world to see, man. Okay? And we're going to see who has the bigger pile, man. <laughs> we're going to see who has the bigger pile of dirty laundry, for real. For real. Okay? Because we don't have anything to hide, man. You know? You know what I'm saying? Just is what it is, man. So anyways, Lord willing, um, this was edifying to the elect. I'll say shalom until the next next video. Shalom.